Hey, yo, 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 this is King Gurner coming to you guys live and direct. Who would think they would have the authority? I don't even want to promote anything on this video. Who would think they would have the, the authority to talk bad about Nipsey Hussle? Who would think this guy, this kitten, this Mountain Dew sipping, acid looking like he popping, mutt, to say what he said about Nipsey Hussle? I don't know Nipsey Hussle personally. I don't know the personal things he's been through in life. But I'm going to guarantee you one thing. That man stand on solid ground. You hear me? And when you see another man, you get an understanding of what a real man is. And it's easy to understand and know that. Guess what? Guess what? He was sturdy. He had a mindset that some individuals may have wanted to be a part of and always lean towards and always look to for the best of everything, even to help their own lives out. The way I look at it is if anybody done bad to Nipsey Hussle, it's going to come back to them a hundred times back if it wasn't on the tip of him doing nothing bad to them first. We have to get an understanding of reality here, people. The reality is that Nipsey showed us who he truly was. Behind closed doors, his wife expressed and showed in her humbleness who they really was. These people could have been begging, running around and trying to figure it out and being a slave to these A&Rs and these different, you know, businesses. They didn't do that. They went independent and carried it with the purest of honor. And whichever way he or ever decision that he ever made, it was the best decision. And guess what? The biggest at that level that done those type of things, like music, or they respected him. You know why? He didn't come with his hand out. Never mind, there's going to be a million people who's going to say they helped Nipsey Hussle. There's going to be a lot of people who say, we told him to do that. But at the end of the day, I don't respect that. I don't respect talking about a man that you talked about so solid that everybody ball handled 24-7 about the man. I don't respect that. All of what we see going on is a pure dishonor. And guess what? That's why me and Leek Moss, we have a, a, um, a podcast coming, but he's going to be producing an app that's going to have some much raw content on it that people is going to have to get an understanding. It's going to be solid men on this. Conversations from solid men, honorable talks, all in one. You have to understand that we have to start restoring the honor because when you got guys talking bad about Nipsey on a conversation with a guy who's been mentally distraught because of what African Bambada done to him, Hassan isn't really the, the problem here. You see, we're missing the problem. And what we're missing is that African Bambada's the problem. We're not attacking the fact of the bad decisions that Hassan Kabul is making right now today is based off of what happened to him as a child, regardless of the situation. And y'all know how I carry it with purest of honor. I don't do no sway talking or way parking, but this man is making some decisions that are falling in the 